All right, so today I'm pretty excited. Today we have a package from, it's either Wowee or Wowee. Uh, I'm gonna just say Wowee. I was looking across the internet for different brands I can make videos on, you know, techie, gadgety type stuff that I could, you know, test out and try out. Then I came across Wowee's brand. So I showed interest in some of their products and they said that in exchange for just my thoughts and telling you guys what to think about it, I can get my hands on some of their products. So I'm not being compensated financially for this review. I'm not being paid. This isn't a sponsorship. I'm just giving my thoughts on it in exchange for a video for them, basically. It's a win-win, but I'm not being paid to say anything about this. Bring out the comic glue big knife real quick. So here's the packing slip that came in the package here. It just has the uh, general name and description of the product. So this is a 1080p webcam with Windows Hello. So Windows Hello, if you aren't familiar with it, it's pretty similar to how iPhones and stuff have Face ID and Face Unlock, to where you just look at your phone and it unlocks. Well, this is a webcam that has that built in. So you can add it onto your laptop or your Windows desktop, and simply just by turning your computer on and looking at it, it has secure face ID to where, you know, it'll just unlock. Before I cut it open, let's go around the box here. So we have Windows Hello certified, faster login and more secure, a uh, one year warranty. And then they have their service email right there. Instant facial recognition, password free login, anti-hacking, and then support multi-users. So in my personal case, I'm the only person that uses my computer. But I imagine this would be very useful for like a family computer where you could set up multiple different people's face IDs and log them all in. Here's the name of it up here, Wowee Windows Hello Certified 1080p Face Recognition Webcam. And then there it is, just on the little laptop there. So that's all that we got going on with the box. Do carefully open it up here. So right off the bat, I see this fancy little pull tab here. So that's pretty promising. Not too sure which is the top. I'm assuming this is the top. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. Okay. So that's all that we got in the box. Very nice presentation. I like this fancy little pull tab here. So this is like a really soft foam. Like a... It's not like a crunchy foam that'll break on impact. Like this is like a... Feels almost like a felty suede material on top of the foam. Packaging and presentation right off the bat is pretty good. Let's see what this does. Oh, okay. Let's pop this out. So here's our first look at the Wowee webcam. So it has stereo microphones, the uh, 1080p webcam, as well as the IR sensor that pairs with the webcam for the facial recognition. So if you look closely here, there's some bubbles and stuff, but that's just because there's a protective film on here. I'll probably take it off before testing, but uh, you can probably leave it on if you want just to protect the uh, front of the camera here. All right, so going a little further into the box. Decently long USB cable. Like this is more than enough length. You know, it doesn't really matter where you have your monitor at. Yeah, so that's more than enough length. That's really, really good. And then the last thing in the box here, we have the user manual, continuing the uh, presentation. They have the fancy little ribbon and this little user manual. Okay, so this user manual is actually not an eyesore to look at. They have nice little pictures. It describes what each little thing is, from the microphones to the cameras. Talks about the little base there. Privacy switch. There's all the specs. Like you can do 1080p at 30fps, two digital microphones, etc. This just talks about how you would go around setting it up. Plug into the USB port, biometric device and Windows, yada yada. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm gonna just plug it in and try to figure it out. But, uh, let's see how this guy does. So, initial impressions build quality wise, the hinge is really, really stiff. There's two hinges. There's one hinge on this upper part and then one hinge on this lower part right here. They both feel really stiff and the plastic doesn't feel hollow. It feels uh, like hefty, like weighted almost. So I am a fan of the length of the USB cable, but the one thing that I'd like to see changed is possibly a detachable cable because the way that this is built, it doesn't look like it's breaking at all because of how they have this ribbed reinforcement. But like, let's just say the wire gets pulled or whatever. The camera's basically uh, done at that point. 
if there would just be a USB-C port on the unit right here and they would just include a USB-C cable about this length, I think it'd be way better because you could just change the cables as you want. And also, if you ever mess up this wire, it wouldn't really be an issue because you'd just be able to plug another one in. Now, the chances of anything happening with this cable are really slim, but I feel like USB-C would probably be a better choice. But let's just get to testing it and see how this all works. All right, since the computer's off, we're just using a uh, phone here with the phone's microphone and all that since the computer runs all the recordings. Let's just see how this uh, facial recognition works. All right, so that's pretty good. After that, I at least have to uh, hit the enter key or something, but it just went ahead with it. Let's try that again. Yeah, so that's less than a second sign-in time every single time. So that's pretty good. Let's just go over the camera quality. We're just going to use it on a few different items in the recording setup just to see how the webcam performs. Now, this webcam is more meant for video calls, web conferencing, that sort of thing. So it's not necessarily a replacement for the video camera that I use to make my videos. It will not be studio quality recordings like what I normally post because it's a webcam that's meant for video conferencing and all that. But I just want to see how it performs under the same lighting and circumstances. This is how the footage looks from the Wowee face recognition webcam. So normally whenever I record videos, I record at 4K but then I export and edit the videos only in 1080p. This is a 1080p webcam, and aside from a little bit of uh, noise in the dark parts of the image, this is actually quite good. Now, like I said, you would be using this for video conference calls and things like that. You wouldn't use it to record in this way, but this is just, uh, you know, the basic comparison. So I have some things just to uh, get it to look at. So it doesn't look like it has any sort of focus. The things in the background still stay in focus, but at the same time, the things in the foreground don't get out of focus. So that's pretty interesting. Now the video quality actually does look really crisp from it, but one strange thing is anytime you put anything close to the camera, it sort of changes the color temperature. Everything gets a little more blue, even with my hand here. So maybe that's some sort of uh, focus, uh, but whenever you look at the things in the background, they don't get any more out of focus. So I'm not too sure how that works. Now, quite honestly, I would gladly use this webcam on my computer. I'm just recording some items that I have just so the quality of it, but it looks really, really sharp especially for the price point and then on top of that you get the like one second uh windows face unlock like quite honestly this scene here looks very very good and very very crisp considering that this camera is less than a hundred dollars but like i said i'm not too sure uh what their deal with focus is but if i put something close everything becomes sort of bluer and then whenever i take it away it changes again it doesn't really focus to it though but once again, for $50, getting this kind of clarity out of a webcam, normally webcams on laptops are infamous for just being blocky messes. This is a webcam that has facial recognition built in, and it actually looks half decent. I had a webcam on my computer already, but it only kept out at, I believe, 720p. And this one is a full 1080. And because it's 1080p and it also has the face unlock, it'll probably permanently be used in my setup. I've only messed around with the face unlock a couple of times, but it's extremely useful. From the moment that you turn on the computer, as long as you're looking towards the computer, it'll just automatically bring you to your desktop. While not putting a password in your computer basically does the same thing, this makes it secure so that no one can get in your computer aside from yourself, either with the pin or using your face ID. And one thing I almost forgot about, so this is footage from the webcam that you're seeing right now. It has stereo microphones. So let's stop using this dedicated microphone that we have here and see how the audio quality is in addition to the video quality. So you are currently enjoying the 1080p footage from the Wowee webcam in addition to the audio from the Wowee webcam. Now while I can see how the 1080p footage looks, it actually looks quite sharp, I cannot hear the uh, recording. So uh, I'll have to listen to it later, but if you guys think it sounds nice, let me know. But once again, just like comparing the expensive camera to this camera, of course there's no competition, right? But this was $50. So comparing the expensive microphone to this, you need to keep in mind 
that this is the microphones are basically a bonus to a $50 Face ID 1080p webcam. So you don't necessarily have to use the microphones either, but they are there if you would like to use them. So overall, I'm honestly really impressed with the uh, Woei camera here. This is sort of an all-in-one solution to someone that just needs something for video calls or, you know, Twitch streaming or whatever, and they just want a cheap uh, webcam to get them started. And of course, it has the dual microphones built in as well as the Windows Hello, you know, facial recognition. So it's just lots of stuff packed into this bundle here. Let's just say you've turned on your computer and you've used the facial recognition but maybe you have a suspicion that Windows is using your camera. You just slide this right here, and then your camera's covered. The articulation and the build quality honestly feels pretty solid. Only thing that I would like to see changed is possibly a USB-C cable instead of the hardwired cable, but at this price point, you know, you can't really complain, considering that it has facial recognition built in. Now, because of how small the actual camera sensor is, it causes a little bit of noise in the image because not as much light is getting to the sensor. So possibly a uh, bigger sensor would solve that issue. But for a budget webcam in this price point, it's honestly very good. And because a webcam typically is going to be shrunken down and put into the corner of a screen, it'll be perfectly fine. So if you do want to add facial recognition to your Windows computer, I would recommend going and picking up one of these. The convenience of turning on your computer and it automatically logging in just with your face, but still being secured behind a passcode is very, very nice. If you have an iPad Pro or a newer iPhone that has Face ID, it's the same concept. Whenever it turns on, it just unlocks and you can just go and have access to your things. But if someone else tries to access your things, they're stuck behind a passcode. So yeah, all these features here, you know, pretty much lived up to my expectations. The camera side of things, it is a webcam. It's not a studio camera. So like I said, that's not necessarily uh, me dissing the webcam because of course it won't be the quality of what you're seeing here. But considering that it's still a 1080p webcam for this price point, it's phenomenal. But still considering the quality of this price point at 1080p, the little bit of fuzz, it honestly is not that bad of a webcam. But yeah, thank you to Woei for sending this out just so I could get my thoughts on it and uh, tell you guys about it. At the end of the day, I would in fact recommend getting one of these because the face ID part of it is just so very smooth and nice to use so if you do want to pick one of these up i'll put a link in the description it's not an affiliate link and i wasn't paid to do this review if you buy one it's just all going to uh what we hear so yeah thanks to what for the review unit that's all for me i'm out peace